for all of my neighbors out there, uh, both the people that I've met and the people that I haven't met, uh, the neighbors that live a couple doors down and the, the neighbors that live 10,000 miles away, when you see me and you acknowledge me as a human being and you smile, I appreciate that. That's, that's part of being a human. That's kind of like dogs greeting each other or, or other critters. And, and that, that means a lot to me. And, and you all think I'm just Mr. Stoic, never emotional. But I'm an emotional guy too. And there are days that I'm, I'm feeling low. And there are days that I'm feeling high. And on both of those kinds of days and all the days in between, it is wonderful to see somebody in the grocery store, smile, give them a hug, get a handshake, that's a huge part of being human. So when you ask me if it's too big of an ask to have me cover up myself and have you cover up yourself, it is. Now I'll tell you when it's not. If you have a legitimate medical issue or concern and there's something that I can do to help you out, you're coming to my house for dinner, I'm coming to your house for dinner and you say, hey, I'm allergic to cotton. I'll wear my best polyester suit. If you say it nicely and you ask nicely, but if you put out a propaganda campaign saying, is it really too much to ask? It's not too big of an ask to wear a mask. No, it's way too big of an ask. It's way too big of a manipulation is what it is. You can nice and kindly ask me and I'll bet you I'll comply just about every time. I have been so far. I have friends that have had uh, immuno, I don't even know what they're called, the diseases where the immune system doesn't work like it does with most people. With most people, you want to have viruses and stuff coming in because then you fight them off and you get stronger and you can fight off the bigger ones. But for that, that small percentage of people that unfortunately has an issue, as you know, I'm more than happy to, to cover up my face for you. But for the rest of you who are just scared because you've been watching news and listening to all this stuff coming out from, from your rulers and such, I'm sorry you're scared. I, I have been frightened in my life too. And I know how much that is just a lousy feeling. And I am very sorry that you're feeling that. But no, just because you're scared, no. If you have a good legitimate reason, I'll bend over backwards for you. But un until you do, until you let me know, you're going to see my big smiling face. I'm going to offer you hugs. I'm going to offer you handshakes. And uh, I sure hope you do the same to me. And if you don't want to, peace be to you, neighbor. I could be completely wrong, and, and you're probably doing what you feel is right. I know I am. Neither of us wants anybody to die. Neither of us wants bad stuff to happen. We both love people. We both want to just... Be good folks. But no, I decline to wear elbow pads because I might bump into somebody that has a, a bone marrow disease and hurt them worse. No, I'm not going to wear elbow pads. I'll be extra careful if you tell me. Society does that. Look at the bubble that forms around a pregnant woman. People don't want to hurt other people. You, you, you just you don't want to have that accident happen. But to ask me to wear padded elbow things so that I don't accidentally bump into somebody in the grocery store or a, a mask so that... A young guy like me, just, just half a century old, doesn't give another 23-year-old a... Uh, come on. Come on. Look at numbers. Look at numbers. Let's just be good people, okay?